on, you don't know what it is. You better act like it. It's your boy, Bitness. And yeah, man, you know about the title. You know what's smoking. You know the problems I've been having. These damn cars, man. These damn cars with these six piston brakes. Lord have mercy. Brembo's. Had you dirty out here. I'm talking about soon as you drive your car around the corner. You hear me? Like, filthy. Like, so terrible where it's like, it's rough cleaning the car. Like, as soon as you clean the car, your wheels is dirty. And I mean this literally. Like, if you have a challenger with these six pistons on, man, you understand my pain. It's absolutely terrible. So, what I did, I went out and got these. Check these out. Yes, sir. Check those right there out. So, I went out and got these bad boys. These are the Power Stop Extremes. Street Performance Pads. Um... Z26 carbon fiber ceramic brakes, low dust formula. So these bad boys right here is supposed to slow down them dirty wheels. You feel me? Slow down all that dust that's going on the wheels. Um, these wheels is like that, that aluminum type of look where they look disgusting. Like as soon as I drive down the street, they practically black. And I mean, it's literally, I'm gonna show you a video right now before I get the brakes put on what they look like. I just want to tell you something. What's up? <laughs> I want to tell you something. What? <laughs> you can't fucking drive, bro. I can't drive? Bro, listen, right before you leave, the first thing you say, bro, you know, I want to get some rims put on this car, bro. Come this kind of third. Yeah, as soon as you leave, you know, the first thing you do, Roll over hit the curb. The curb. <laughs> listen to me. If you got rims, one thing you don't do is play with curves. This right here, that ain't gonna happen again. that's what he like to do. Hit curves. You said that before. I don't hit curves. Hit a curve. I didn't hit the curve. You hit the curve. No, I, I recorded it. I rolled over the edge. You hit the whole curve. You rolled over this. You rolled over. Nah, it wouldn't have been. Because you you rolled. Look, the reason why I went loud is because this little this little roll thing right here. You rolled over this. No, I kind of rolled over this. Uh-uh. Nah. No, uh -uh. no, it's not. You can't drive, bro. This guy right here, Curve Central. That's a blind spot. So when he get his rims and you see the lips of them all ate up and shit, you gonna know. You gonna know what happened. It was because of that. What's going on? You don't know what it is. You better act like it's your boy Fitness. And yeah, we finna get these brake pads and put them on right now. Like, look at this damn front wheel, man. Look at this. So the car was just clean like a couple days ago. And this shit is filthy. Watch this. Look at this shit. Clint the day ago. Already filthy. So I ordered these brakes. Um, the Z26 power stops, I think that's what they call. We're gonna get those put on, the pads anyway put on, and it's supposed to stop this situation right here. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna let y'all know if it's trash or not. So but um yeah my man's gonna go ahead and hook me up. We at Go Safe Tire Auto Repair. That's Go Safe Tire and Auto Repair. They're about to hook me up real fast and yeah man, we're gonna see what's shaking. You feel me? So stay tuned. Get my boy handling business. About to put them power stop, extreme, street performance brake pads on that thing, you hear me? Yes, sir. Watch him go, man. 
Watch him get me right now. Check my man's out. And he quick too. I watched him change like four tires and then come to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that boy ain't no joke. Literally. So he just pulled that bad boy out. They got new joints. You know what I'm saying? They got that new stuff. Quit. Yeah. First one in. Next one out. You know what I'm saying? New one in. Huh? Mm -hmm. You understand me? Check my man out. Quick now. <laughs> he quick now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check him out, man. Now the top. Yeah. Okay. He can flip the seven just. Uh huh. Flip the seven on okay. the side. Okay. Open the door to the Okay. Getting that thing together, you hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. boys is gonna stop these wheels from getting so dirty man I'm gonna let y'all see like what it look like a couple days later I'm gonna wash the car up super good we gonna see what's smoking look at that took care of business he quick with it now I'm trying to tell you come holler at my mans thank you <laughs> So I told y'all, man, we're going to do all this shit. So now we got the brakes done. We just got the boiler exhaust installed. Next, that Pro Charger. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Car in there getting taken care of right now. Um, I'm going to wash the car up real good, and I'm going to do a test. We're going to see how much build up it get, all that type of stuff. Yeah, straight like that. So y'all stay tuned. The, the brakes have been put on, and the wheels literally have been holding up pretty good. Like, I have been driving hard, even through the rain, all that type of stuff. And they pretty clean for the most part, like, to be a week strong, a week and a half. This is not bad. Like, this is pretty much minimal dirt. So, this is actually less dirt right now. It's less dirt on right now than it was with the regular brakes on that came from the factory in one day. So, in one day, my wheels would be damn near black. I'm talking about filthy. This is a week and a half worth of driving. And this is how much dirt is on them right now. I'm finna show you. Let me show you. Show you this right now. Check it out. Like, you won't believe this, it's crazy. So look at this. So this is, this is how the wheels look right now. 
it's been a week and a half. You hear me? Check it out. Now look, look, check it out. Week and a half. That ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, week and a half. You know. So, compared to driving one day and the wheels is black. You feel me? So, these bad boys right here, if you want to cut down on that dust, man, and you want this stuff to really look good, you got to get some of these. You got to get power stops, man. Got to. If you don't have power stops, you're tripping. You are tripping. You hear me? I got front and back. Front and back. Check them out. Front and back. You hear me? Yeah. So these what you need right here. These things is fire. Keep the keep the wheels clean. Keep your car clean. You ain't got to worry about it. This is the move right here. So yeah, man. Put this bad boy back on. Get me back on point real quick. Yeah, so that's the move, man. Like, if you got one of these challenges, you got a charger, challenger, and you got these big boy brakes on your Hellcat, or on the scat pack, look, you gotta get these. Like, it's a must. It's no damn way you should be driving around with them stock pads on. It's gonna have your wheels filthy and looking disgusting. If you like shining and you, you got that little dirt phobia like your boy, listen to me. Get the power stop Z26 joints and you're going to be super happy. You're going to be glad you did, man. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And let me know what's shaking, man. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you have them. Let me know what type of what car you have that you put them on. And did you have the same problem with your Hellcat or with your Scat Pack um, with the six piston Brembo's? Because mine was horrible. I'm talking about horrible. I could not clean the car for shit. Do you hear me? Excuse my language, but for shit, you hear me? So, but now I'm jiggy. Everything been pretty cool. I'm about to wash the car now. I just want to show you guys before I wash the car, a week and a half worth of driving, how much dust have, have accumulated from, yeah, if that's from the brakes. That could be just from dry, from just driving around, but that's pretty good, you hear me? So, yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm end the video like that, man. Like I said, when you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And anybody too, side note, you know, I wanna put a supercharger on my Scat Pack wide body, man. I do. And I've been hearing some little things about how 392s act with getting the supercharger put on. So, y'all let me know what's smoking with that, man. Like, y'all got me nervous a little bit. So I need some more comments down below. Let me know if you have any experience, uh, with a Pro Charge 392, and if you do, um, let me know what's up. Even if you don't, if you, like things you heard or a friend that have the setup with a 392 and have pretty much stock components, and he just add a 7 psi Pro Charge, because that's all I'm going. I just want 7 psi. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to do nothing too crazy. I just want to have enough power to bust your damn head if I need to. You feel me? <laughs> Straight up. Don't pull it next to me thinking this is gonna be some basic scat pack, because it's not. You hear me? So. I want to have at least 700 horsepower, at least, you know what I mean? Or just enough horsepower to where I can put down to the road, because sometimes too much horsepower for the street is not good if you're spinning in the place. So y'all let me know what's smoking, man. If you know anybody that have that good old Pro Charger or any other type of uh, pro, uh, supercharger that's on the 392, let me know what it's like. Let me know if you heard any stories, the horror stories, all that type of stuff. I want to know straight like that, man. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next videos. And we're going to keep it smoking. See the boy lifestyle. I drop a lot more things besides car videos. Like this is just something that I enjoy a lot. So I've been posting a lot of car content. But y'all know I'm into guns, cars, clothes, fashion, all that type of stuff. And a lot of that is coming soon. We just been in quarantine and all that type of stuff. So I've been just doing what the hell I'm doing currently. You hear me? So when I ain't in the studio, I'm going to try to make sure I'm giving y'all content like this right here. And then sometime I show y'all my life when I'm in the laboratory, when I'm making music, all that type of stuff. So just rock with your boy, man. 
We got shirts and all that type of stuff coming too if you want to be part of the gang 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 and represent for the squiz eye you hear me we gonna really get it smoking like that so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that support the channel i'm be doing giveaways all that stuff man like i said my goal once i get to 10,000 subscribers man like y'all let me know what y'all want man it's like that like once i get to 10,000 this is what i'm gonna do i get to 10,000 subscribers um if I get to 10,000 subscribers, I want to sell like at least 500 shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's small for me. Like, I'm, you know, I be making stuff happen. So, I sell 500 shirts. I get 10,000 subscribers. Um, if you got a, a Dodge Charger or um, a Dodge Challenger, I think I'm gonna give away like some some headers or something like that. I think I want to do like some cook headers. Not no bullshit. I'm gonna give y'all some good stuff, like some cook headers or something like that. What y'all think, man? What y'all think? Y'all tell me what y'all want. I'm thinking I'm gonna go like, if you don't have headers on your charger or your uh, challenger, um, you probably give away like some cook headers or something like that, or maybe like a a boiler exhaust. Yeah, yeah, probably like a boiler exhaust, one or two. It's gonna be one or two, man. I'm gonna do some jiggy for y'all, something big, something that. You know, a lot of people can't afford stuff like that. You feel me? So I want to make sure I be able to give y'all stuff that make y'all happy and all that type of stuff, man. I'm kind of living, so I'm trying to help some other people live too. You feel me? So if you like this type of stuff, man, let me know what's smoking. Let me know what you think would be dope to give away. We're going to try to make it happen straight like that. 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to sell five, at least 500 shirts. And uh, yeah, man, 500 shirts. Let's sell 500 shirts and get 10,000 subscribers. I'm gonna give away either a boiler, um, S-type or ATAC, your choice, or um, some cook headers. It's up to you, balls in your court. That's how we gonna do it. You don't know what it is, you better act like it. It's gang banging media, it's your boy Bitness. We gonna sign out straight like that. Two Ks.